Hello everyone. Merry Christmas. Christmas Eve. How are y'all doing tonight? Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. And tonight we are going to uh, make something that most everyone would use, I would think. If you, I'll tell you what I would use this for. It can, it's a, gonna be like a little storage thing. So how is everyone doing? Is everyone having a great Merry Christmas Eve? I um, started this project and I was going to have my wood stained before I got on here, but um, squirrel moment and I decided to do something a little different. So here I am staining again. So I'm just rubbing a little stain on here. This is um, dark walnut. I like the dark walnut color. So just and I do have gloves tonight unusual huh usually I forget my gloves and I probably would have if I hadn't have started this earlier but anywho so is everyone home or at your families or at your friends having good fellowship having good Games and fun. So there's my sweet mama. So here we go. I'm going to take the gloves off now. This is not really, um, and y'all can sprinkle the video if you don't mind. That kind of helps people know that I'm live and can see it. Let me close my glue here. And this is just Rust-Oleum wood stain. And I do use the dark walnut. There's my sweet friend Monique from Sweden. How are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Y'all are not here to hear me sing, are y'all? Okay, so this came from the Dollar Tree. Our baskets came from the Dollar Tree. Our twine came from um, Hobby Lobby. I think these are eight inch, no, six and a half inch um, little wood circles. They came from Hobby Lobby. And then we have um, like a little Lazy Susan piece. These came from um, Amazon and I will put a link in the description of the video. E6000 you can get anywhere, Walmart, I even think Dollar General sells it. This is probably my white. Oh, uh, let's see if I've got some. That's glass and bead. Y'all, I figured that I would wear a little Santa hat tonight. So that, um, oh, thank you, Miss Monique. I hope you have a wonderful and a Merry Christmas. Um, E6000 is my favorite. Oh, Sprinkle Sweet. <gasps> Thank you, Miss Monique. I appreciate that, sweet friend. I appreciate that so very much. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, on two sides, it's not going to connect really. So, um, me y'all down where y'all can see what I'm doing here. Um, we're gonna get some, if I can get this mashed out of here, I need to buy me some more of this stuff. And I may have to use the white because I don't think this thing is coming out. So let's see. Let me open this because it's it's transparent. I don't want to use the white. I have bought that by accident. 
and this whole time got messy, so okay, this one's ready to go. All right. Oh, what have I come up with you? Oh, thank you. Um, this is going to be like a little caddy. I'm going to put this E6000 right here on the edge. And this will seal in about 24 to 48 hours. But to get it to hold while we're working on this, I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue. And the hot glue is not gonna hold real good, I don't think, but I think it'll hold good enough to let us finish this project. This'll be easy. And I'm gonna tell you what, that feels pretty good. Um, ooh, this is my hot glue gum. I to go ahead and put some of this right here. See, I, I have to try to keep Miss Monique busy so that she doesn't run out of anything to do. So I tell her that I work hard trying to keep her busy. Y'all, I got my star up. I love it, just to say the least. I'm putting hot glue on the edges here, just to kind of help hold it until it dries. Now, I'm gonna turn it upside down so I kind of, hopefully, get it somewhat centered maybe possibly okay so what we have made here is a lazy Susan isn't that cute but it gets better we're gonna set this on top but before we do that we're gonna get our twine out here I'm going to move those rounds. Okay. Isn't this wonderful? This twine came from Hobby Lobby. And y'all, I have just let it get all tangled up. We're almost at the end. Here we go. Okay. So what I want to do is fold it to start. Now, hot glue and twine works really good together because they will adhere to each other really good. So let's move this out of the way just a little bit. Let's see if I'm missing anything. Wonderful Christmas Eve at my daughter's. Oh, her birthday. Oh, it doesn't exist in this room. Well, you wouldn't need quite that much, but it does come from Hobby Lobby. Um, and until I get just a couple of little um uh, rounds made here i'm gonna attach a little glue and i'm gonna pull it really tight i'm so sorry miss monique i wish i wish your stores there had all this stuff y'all she's she's in sweden and they just don't have all this stuff Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue as we go around for the first few rounds. 
and I'm gonna push it tight each time I go around. And this won't take but just a couple of minutes. And we'll have it finished because we're not gonna add glue to every little bit. I'm just pushing it hard and tight. If I get my finger out of the way. So let me add a little bit now. You know, I went to Dollar Tree for the first time yesterday. Was it yesterday, I believe? That's the first time I've been in several weeks. I've been working a lot of overtime, so I haven't had the time to get over there. And almost all their Christmas was gone. I guess they're glad for that. Um, and they had a little bit of Valentine out. And it looked like it had already been picked over. I was like, well, I'm a little late, aren't I? Let's see. This is a to uh, paper towel holder. It's just a little metal one. And the little wood rounds are six and a half inches. And I had no clue earlier what I was going to be making tonight. And I was really stressing about whether I was going to get to come on or not because my husband decided we're going to clean the day. Clean out old boxes and all kinds of stuff, so... I did not, and I needed to get in here and start cleaning up. I need a maid for my craft area here. I need her to um, come in and, and wiggle her nose and create more room. You know, I need lots more storage room. I need lots more um, table room. Now I know how to make a Lazy Susan. Yes, ma'am. And you can get the little um, Lazy Susan things on Amazon. Maybe they can, um, it'll be in the Sweden Amazon. Hopefully. Because, I mean, you just need a base. And then a, a larger piece of wood or you can make it out of plastic or anything you just need two surfaces we're almost to the top here I'm pushing these really really tight you probably would not have to um, Pushing as tight as I am, but so this won't take very long. Yes, they have the um, or I'd rather make one myself. Yes, I was. Oh, you're talking about the um, John Brewer. Hi, Miss John. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! We're hanging out on Christmas Eve. You can take two surfaces, um, like you can take two of the round cake pans and put marbles in between the two, and it'll make like a little lazy Susan also. That's a thought. You can um, use that, put marbles between two surfaces. And it would make a lazy Susan if it had like edges where the marbles would not um, fall out. That's another. Okay. As it's going up on the edge, we're going to put some glue. Because it will probably slide off. Cool. Thank you. You are so very welcome. Just buy you some marbles. And, um, two surfaces. 
it has like a little loop, a little edge on it. So like two round little, um, like the little round cake pans, the little um, nine inch. You could put marbles in between those and make a like a little lazy Susan. Y'all will have to try that. How was the family, Miss Joan? Over in Louisiana. Louisiana. Cajun. Cajun country. Okay. I found my drill, so now I can... Oh, it's not letting me see the rest of that. I have to see what you have found your drill for. Okay, I'm going to cut this. Right here. So... Is Santa Claus on his way to see y'all tonight? Or did Santa Claus already come? To make your bow make... Oh, awesome! That is awesome. Y'all, this glue is just sticking to my fingers. Okay. We're going to shove that back in there. Now, this is going to go on here. And this is why I wanted my clear E6000. I'm going to put a little dab of, um, Santa's already been here in Sweden. Oh, I'm going to add some glue. We are doing well waiting on Santa. Oh, you've been good. Oh, mm. Well, I tried to convince Santa that I was really good, but I don't think he believed me. I don't know why. I hadn't told no story, so he should have believed me. So now we're going to use a little bit of hot glue. I put the, um, a6000 for long term, and we're going to use the hot glue just for short term to hold it while the A6000 glue. Um, I believe he's waiting. <laughs> uh, Y'all, when uh, my husband says something and he says, um, I'll tell him, I'll say, well, I don't mind doing so-and-so, or I don't mind this or that, you know. He'll say, I know you don't mind. He thinks I don't mind. I tell him all the time I mind. Okay, that I did not. We're going to put it on there quickly. And obviously, little, obviously a little bit more to get it to stick. Okay, that's better. I didn't put enough the first time. All right, now, do y'all see where we're going with this? And what I'm going to do is, now, I would use this on my coffee bar to, um, Put the little coffee pods in, or if you don't drink coffee and you drink hot cocoa, look at here. How cute is this? Right now, what I want to do is I want to take this through. Let me get some wire first. I think wire is going to be a safer.
Okay, finding the end to a piece of wire should not be that hard. There it is. Aren't they always nice? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Miss Monique, my husband just don't think I stay on that nice list. He thinks I get on the naughty list. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna go here. Then I'm gonna pull this one up here. And over and around. Pull my wire back through here. Well, okay. Now then, say, so what do y'all think? I should have brought some little coffee pods in here, but I didn't. With the little K-cups, you know what I'm talking about? But you could use this for, for anything, I guess. You could put it in your bathroom if you had, you wanted to put your makeup in it. That would be a good idea. Or hair brushes or all sorts of things. Or, um, let's see, put it on your, by your bathtub, and put soaps in it. All kind of cute little ideas. I'm turning that little wire in. Okay, now we're going to do these two up here. How cute. What do y'all think? Tell me what you think. You can also put onions and vegetables. Absolutely. Put it in the kitchen. And put it... Um, your vegetables... All right, now, um, let's see. I'm probably, because this one, I don't want it to slide. I'm going to send this little wire. If I can feel it. Get it through there. Let's see. more of a challenge than I thought. There we go. Now I'm going to tie it around. I'm going to, let's see, where do I want it? I'm going to bring it right through here. And around. And try to go back through here. If I can get it somewhat <laughs> level. Probably needed, uh, I got a stiffer wire over there. There it is. Okay. So, and that's going to keep it from sliding down. Right, now, let's see. Where does it need to go?
So this is just a, another little version of what you could do with instead of having, you know, the little um, they call the little tiered trays. Have like a little tiered um, caddy here. Okay, now we got it. Let me get my pliers over here, and I'm going to twist it tight so that it doesn't come undone. Now, if you wanted to hide your uh, wire, which is not really that noticeable, um, you could run a piece of twine on top of it. I don't think I'm going to do that because it's not really noticeable. My mother likes little gadgets like this. She's all the time buying something to put something in. I told on you, Mama. I told on you. Okay, look at here. There we go. Now to keep it. I'm just going to put a little piece of glue on there. How cute. What do y'all think? Yes, it would look good, wouldn't it? So you can put spices in it, you could put vegetables in it. Um, with this little bitty um, thing, I wouldn't put, you know, nothing real, real heavy, but, you know, bathroom, kitchen, any kind of little thingies, craft room, da 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 da. We get, you know, I've got clothes pans, you could put it in your laundry room. Um, all kind of ideas. So, well, give me some thumbs up if you like it. I think it turned out cute. Baskets came from Dollar Tree. The paper towel holder came from Dollar Tree. You could probably get that at Walmart also. The little wood and the twine came from Hobby Lobby. Um, and the little Lazy Susans come from Amazon. And... I will post the, the link to my Amazon affiliate if y'all want to check those out for the ones that I bought. You can, um, I bought the small ones, but you can buy um, larger little Lazy Susans. So I've had those since back in the first of the summer, but um, just hadn't got around to making it. And then the holidays came and it was time to make fall and Christmas and I still got Christmas ideas that I want to do and y'all Christmas is tomorrow in just a few hours and you know here I am still got these ideas that I want to do but hey I ran out of time so great thing to have turned out that's thank you Miss Monique I appreciate that well, I hope y'all have a very happy and wonderful blessed merry christmas um i will be back tuesday night 7 p.m central standard time um so until then y'all have a great weekend a great merry christmas enjoy your family and friends um i'm gonna eat too much i'm sure but other than that it's all good so remember that I love you all and get to crafting and make something beautiful. And if you make one of these, y'all, or whatever you make, go to my VIP, Rachel Unique Crafts VIP on Facebook and share your pictures. And let me see what y'all make, what y'all come up with. Because y'all can probably come up with some better ideas than me. So... 
that's all. And I will see y'all Tuesday night. Y'all have a blessed and Merry Christmas. You can do Christmas crafts after Christmas. <laughs> you take care and stay safe, my sweet friend. And love and blessings to you. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me here on Christmas Eve night. That is awesome. Y'all took time away uh, from your family and friends to spend it with me. So, and I think this, I lifted this up too soon. I got to get it back on with the E6000 because this is pretty heavy. Yeah, I got it back on the E6000. Okay, thank y'all. Y'all have a great night, great weekend. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.